So a large accounting firm and my accountants have been working for months because it's big and complex, and they've put together a statement, a financial statement. This is a summary, but everything will be filed eventually with the government. And we don't need extensions or anything. We'll be filing it right on time. We don't need anything. And it was even reported incorrectly yesterday because they said he had assets of $9 billion. So I said, no, that's the wrong number. That's the wrong number, not assets. So they put together this. And before I say it, I have to say this. I made it the old fashioned way. It's real estate. You know, it's real estate. It's labor and it's unions good and some bad and lots of people that aren't in unions and it's all over the place and building all over the world. And I have assets, big accounting firm, one of the most highly respected, nine billion two hundred and forty million dollars. Yeah. And I have liabilities of about five hundred. That's long term debt, very low interest rates. In fact, one of the big banks came to me and said, Donald, you don't have enough borrowings. Could we loan you four billion dollars? I said, I don't need it. I don't want it. And I've been there. I don't want it. But in two seconds, they'd give me whatever I wanted. So I have a total net worth. And now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability. A net worth. After all debt, after all expenses, the greatest assets, Trump Tower, 1290 Avenue of the Americas, Bank of America building in San Francisco, 40 Wall Street, sometimes referred to as the Trump building, right opposite the New York City, many other places all over the world. So the total is $8,737,540,000. Now, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that to brag, because you know what? I don't have to brag. I don't have to, believe it or not. 